Hey guys, today we're going to go over one of our 1848 Timber Series models. Uh, I'll start off before I start talking about the boat, I'll talk about the trailer a bit. We put all our boats on Diamond City aluminum trailers, they're all welded. Uh, heavy duty tongue, you have your premium 14 inch wheels which comes with a spare. You have your, your dolly wheel and you have your LED lighting if you look here. So it's all on aluminum tube. And if you come here, you have a lighted logo here as well. And these fenders are real strong. These fellas, fenders are welded on. You can jump on them. It's not like some of the fenders you see out there, the bolt-on fenders. You know, anybody can stand on these fenders. You have your adjustable side guards. And again, all of your lighting is LED. And then right here, we started putting on all the trailers, transom tie-downs. These are the boat buckle brand. These are stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about the brackish water or salt water. You release them here, they slip right off. Whenever you're ready to put them back on, you just hook them and they ratchet up. So these are real nice to have, keeps you both centered on the trailer. So now we talked about the trailer a bit. Again, this is our TD Edition series. This particular boat is an 1848. It has 21 inch sides. Uh, this boat has your Gator Glide as an option. You can see right here. Now I'm gonna start off with our standard features basically. When we order a Pro Drive boat, you'll have, you'll get the nav light in the front. Right here, it's a metal housing, the LED nav light in the front. You're gonna get a trolling motor bracket. This LED spotlight, we make a 120 and a 240. You know, each option is available. Plugs in right here to your front deck. Plug J's out and you can remove your light right here. You step further back, your deck hatch, your four foot front deck and your deck hatch is standard. On this boat, we have a pedestal seat base installed right here for fishing. And every boat, we sell has the two grab handles in the front for you to grab it and you have an extended deck. reason we have the extended deck is all our tanks are tanked on pro drive boats. The fuel is always in the front due to the weight of the motors and most people get two fuel tanks. So this basically, this space is dead space anyway because your tanks are here. So we cover the tanks, keep them out of the weather, keep them out of the rain, the sun and it's, a, it's about a 20 inch extended deck. The, and then guys that want to fish, well, it gives space for the trolling motor battery tray here. This boat here, my guys forgot to drop in a trolling motor plug set. It would fit, fit right into this face and drop down right into this battery. They'll do that for me later. This boat has 21 inch sides. Okay, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One of them is due to the catwalks, to give us room for our boxes and our spud poles and stuff. This catwalks is an option on any, any boat. You have two catwalks here. And if you look, we, all the boats standard have the T-rail gunnel system. That's on every one. On this boat, on my, my boat that I like to run, well, I, used, I like to put a couple of uh, bow eye attachments here. And these can move anywhere. You know, I tie some stuff down here and then I have rope cleats. Rope cleat right here is for my dog. Gets kind of crazy in the boat, so jumps out at any given time. So I put one here for him. Then I have one back here. Now these again can go anywhere you want. I just have mine back here for when I tie up somewhere. I can tie, keep the back from swinging. Uh, when I pull in my boat hide. You know, when I'm hunting ducks and set of the guy going to reach to the front, tie the boat, well, I'll just hook it right here and tie it to the blind. Getting in the boat, if you'll notice, we changed up a few things. All our boats, you know, to keep the structure in them, we used to put the two, one by twos running lengthways and the two by twos across, welded down. We changed up the bottom structure a little bit, but to keep that integrity in there, we, uh, we did one by ones, then we still kept the two by twos, but then we put one by twos every foot. So there's one by twos every foot. So this gives you a full open floor, similar to our SBX series. So now you have that full open, open floor, you know, no gutters on each side. 
moving to the back this is our multi-position seat you know this comes standing in every boat now in this boat here due to the catwalks you have a couple of options you can go with the standard multi-position seat and shorten the lid because putting the catwalks you you have to open your lid so you can either shorten your lid you know or you can get this i prefer to get the shorter box because most of the time i you know i'll put this box here for past a couple of passengers on the side for one but the reason is i, I like the shorter box is because if you have a spud kit or a push pull all right one of our other options is, is the spud kit you have one you have it comes with two two spuds and there's receptacles on each corner if you put you have a receptacle here in the front and you have one and you have one in the opposite corner in the back we switched from the aluminum poles we used to make to these poles this is very similar to the material that's on the uh, power poles i mean these things bend they're flexible you know I'll, i've already taken off with these things down in the mud and forgot about them stop and pull them right back out with no damage not saying you can't break them but they i uh, haven't broke one yet and the neat thing about these poles they light they don't bend the aluminum poles if you would have took off in that position and bent them nine times out of ten you'd have to break the pole off just to leave and you'd have ruined your pole these holders that these, these spuds go in fit very snug so they don't they don't rattle around like the aluminum poles used to do so i have two poles here i can still reach them with my box in the crossways position on this side i have our new push pole it's a st it's a stiffy push pole again we used to make the ones out of aluminum those would bend they make a lot of noise this here has a duck duck bill foot it has a little attachment to grab your jug lines if you if you jug lining or if you are uh, catching decoy weights it's extendable to 12 feet you can just extend it out here it's a really neat little pole it also comes with all our poles that we sell in our boats if you go for the push pull option you're gonna have a paddle attachment paddle attachment it's not really a pretty pretty colorful paddle attachment but I mean it'll get the job done take this off snap just snap it in then you have a then you got a paddle so you just keep that in your box snap this back on this stiffy push pole uh, also comes with the nice uh, the nice holders to keep them in snug again they're not they're not rattling so they, it fits really tight you know you go across those waves working our way to the back on all our tilt tiller model boats you have a rear seat with storage as well so you have actually if you look in the front you have your four foot front deck with storage you have storage there then you have your multi-position seat with storage here then you have your rear seat with storage inside here uh, you know you got a tray here you can keep your hard hat light here you can keep the emergency stuff here All, all snapped down with stainless steel latches and what we did new on these boats we used to have the switch panel right back here all right that made it kind of hard when you're driving at night or you're trying to reach for a switch you're just pulling switches and hoping you got to get grab the right one right here when you're driving a tiller you most people are straddling here well you have all your switch panel here you have a cigarette lighter plug here then you have two USB ports to charge your phone. And then these are all your switches. You know, one will be for, for your nav light. One will be for this, this, this boat here has the LED strip lighting in the back on the, on the inside. It runs all the way to the front. I have this boat in white. We have white, green, and blue. 
I prefer to have the white. We have them shining down on the catwalks. That way if you get into a blind or something at night, in the morning, before shooting time, everybody's trying to grab their gun, grab their boxes. Well, it lights up the floor. You can see everything. Or if you run around frogging, it's nice to have those lights on. You can see the floor. Everybody's walking around. Uh, so that switches for that one. This switch here, if you notice, I have LED strip lighting on the outside. This might not be for everybody because sometimes you, you know, you got a good chance of ripping this off if you're in really rough terrain, branches, stuff of that nature. Uh, but it really lights up the wall. It's, it's a feature we offer. In the back, running off the same switch, we have the rooster tail lights. We can install those two on any boat. We have these situated right here. And everything works off of your switch here. Bilge pump, spotlight, everything is here. Now you'll notice right here I have an extra switch and that's for my spotlight. I also have an extra plug right here. A lot of people ask me what that's for. That's a trolling motor plug receptacle. And the reason I put these on our boats is that we frog a lot. And you, anybody that's frogged a lot, when you start plugging into a, a, a cigarette lighter plug right here or accessory plug or you're trying to clamp your battery, your spotlight to a battery, Nine times out of ten, you're going to walk around, it's going to come undone, it's going to cut your light off at the worst possible time. So right here is we, we put all our spotlights on trolling motor plugs. If you notice right here, I'll pull this light out. These are one of our lights. And instead of putting the alligator clips or a cigarette lighter plug here, I'll put a trolling motor plug. And it just goes right into here. And that just keeps everything keeps everything tight because the trolling motor plug locks in. Working our way to the back, we talked about every boat comes standard with the nav lights and your anchor lights in the back. Well, they all come with the max it out flexible light. You know, I really like this light because. Nine times out of ten, I'd be passing through branches, trees, getting in the boat hard. Next thing you know, I'd, I broke the light. This thing will just have the time I'll get in the blind in the morning. That thing's laying down because I hit the top of the blind. But it's still still good. We just keep them here. You don't have to store them. Start looking for them when it gets dark. Trying to find the pole, make sure it works. It's already here. Working toward the back. You'll notice the... Uh, the angle on the back here, we have a battery disconnect. And then we have uh, the batteries here now. And the reason we changed up the hunt deck a little bit is because we were having, a, you know, people were having a lot of trouble reaching the plug, the drain plug and everything, or working on their bilge pumps. Well, now with this angle back here, you know, you still have your step to step in and out of the boat or if the dog wants to climb here, you still have your step. But you have a lot easier access to your floor right here where you didn't where you didn't have before. So that's the inside of this boat. Like I said, we got the full floor feature which is a which is a new a new feature we just we just released. And this boat here is this is our uh, timber pattern. We offer three different camos and I'll go over the other two patterns you know in, in another video. But like I said this this is timber has a gator glide all these are options you know and then this motor same thing this is the x40 it's also camoed in timber and if you'll notice we did a little bit different on our our pumps we used to have the two pump system one for the reverse one for the trim then we had the single pump with the selector valve and then now you still had hoses so what we did was we uh we got with uh, Parker Industries. They make a real nice pump. They put them on jack plates and trims on our boards. And we got this pump. It's all self-contained. And it works. This pump works the trim. And then in the back, the same thing. Can walk around here, Randy. In the back, if you notice, this is another one. This is another Parker pump. 
we had made this stainless steel heat shield for it. Uh, of course, when we tested it, we tested it for quite a few months without a heat shield and didn't bother anything, but we just made a little extra protection to get that, keep that heat off. And if you notice, everything we put on our pro drives, you know, is pretty much overbuilt. This plate right here is really thick. This plate is thick. We probably don't need uh, that thick a plate, but we just, we're just very cautious when it comes to where these motors go and what we have to put them through. So that's our new actuator system. And then for, the, for, for guys that ha haven't seen our tiller handling brush guard, this is the new tiller handling brush guard feature. What we did here was a, a lot of guys, uh, you know, that pass through tight timber, you know, bushes and everything. They were concerned about tearing things off, tearing wires off of here, hooking the all, all pump, pulling the dipstick out. Well, what we did was we made a handle that bolted to the face of the uh, grab handle that bolted to the face of the engine, and we made these guards. Now these guards are real easy access because your all filters behind here. You just loosen these bolts here, and, and it gets water right here, just like a guard on a lawnmower. You slide it out. You don't have to take them all the way out. You just slide it, pass it through the holes, and lay it down, and you can do your work. Same thing on the other side for the starter. And when you get your, to your grab handle here, well, let's say if you're hunting out the border, you just want the handle out the way you fish it. Well, you can just lock the handle up and get it out your way. Let it down, locks it down. Also, if you want to adjust it up and down, you know, some guys like to stand up sometimes. If it's at night, they're frog and they want to see over their people. Well, if you, the more you unscrew your adjustment, the higher the handle gets. And then the more you screw it in, the lower it gets. I particularly like to run it this way, you know, because most of the time I'm going to be seated in the boat. You know, that way when I'm seated here, you know, you put your safety kill on. But when I'm seated here, and this gets to my, uh, my trim features and reverse features, we put a trim switch on your tiller handle. That way you can do it on the fly without looking back. We also have, you know, you, you put in gear here, you take it out here, you have a momentary bump button. What this does, it bypasses your engagement switch and you can just bump this. So when you have your finger on it, you know, it's in gear. The minute you let your finger off, it's out of gear. This is really nice when you're picking up decals. You know, you and another guy's picking up decals. He's in the front. Decal comes by you right here. You just let your finger off the button. It goes to neutral. You pick up your decal. Or if you're in a really tight area, you know, in the woods, if you turn it one way and you just bump the button, your boat seems to turn a lot easier. If you look here, there's a reverse switch and a trim switch. Like we talked about, we had one trim switch here. But let's say you work in this thing in a lot of vegetation or a lot of water hyacinths. You're working it like this. Well, you don't want to reach back here and grab your trim. You're going to work your trim here. And your reverse is right here. I'm going to trim this motor up a little higher than it really needs to be because it's due to the trailer. But your trim switch is right here on the... I say you can work your trim all back and forth all while you're standing up here. It takes about three and a half seconds one way, I think four seconds the other way. Then you still got your grab handle where you can pick up. Now we also offer on a tiller handle boat, we also offer the grab bar, the grab handle feature. I particularly don't use it, you know, because most of the time I'm sitting down this motor. The pro drive motor with the shorter foot and the shorter handle is a real easy motor to steer. You know, real easy to turn, real easy to steer. So we particularly didn't use many grab bars, didn't sell many grab bars. But a lot of people like to stand up, you know, and then the grab bar goes here, it's adjustable. I'll show that in another video. Sometimes, the reason I don't use it is if I'm running jug lines or something else, or I'm walking to the front of the board, I want to grab a jug line, sometimes it gets in my way. But for other people, you know, it's a, it's a nice feature to have. So that pretty much wraps up this particular boat. I went over the cleats, you know, I went over the full floor, the multi-position box, all the standard features. And I appreciate you guys watching.